Oh, hey guys. Hey, welcome to another episode of Ron Urban Adventures. Yeah, you see the box? I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be something that's gonna help me out on my overlanding journey. So make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. Let's go take a closer look. But beforehand, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Alright guys, I'm just going to unbox it real quick for you guys. Let's go take a closer look. Alright, this is a dual. Alright guys, once you get it out of the box, there is some assembly required. So you have, here you get a bag full of handle parts. It's going to go on the side for your handles. Also comes with a tool. Also comes with your wall charger, AC-DC adapter. And then your carport charger that will hook up right into the refrigerator. For me, how I'm going to be powering up inside my truck it's through the jackery. This is how I'm gonna be powering up this bad boy. So let's go ahead, put the handles on, let's install on my truck, and let's go camping. Let's go on an adventure. All right. First, we're gonna take off these hex screws. You guys could use a power tube, but I advise against it. You don't want to mess up these helix helix coil that's in here. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. Now these handle pieces they do come with a right and the left. So you want to because they got two holes right here. This is where you're gonna put your handle part. There's some little slots right here. I'm just put it in the slots. It just prevents it from moving. Put the other side on. That's your right and left. And this goes right back in the hole. You gotta do it now and just screw that. Easiest way to do this, put the screw in on one side in one of the holes and get it started. Now that's started. Now I'll go kitty corner on this side. Put, put that side in. And before I turn it all the way down, put the rest of the screws in. Let's 
This way, if you have any adjustments you gotta do, you can easily adjust them. And now tighten. You don't have to go kitty corners or whatever. Just tighten them in. Shouldn't be any issues. And you wanna just snug in there. You don't want to over tight because you, if you over tight, you can break that helix coil. And then you'll be SOL. And you have to get a new refrigerator. Just like that, guys. And this is spring loaded. So when you carry it up, it comes back down, which is kind of nice. And then it also has this, this little open carry handle right here, which is pretty nice. Let's go do the other side. Let's put it in the vehicle. Oops. One thing I forgot to mention is it also comes with two more bottom bottom rubber pieces that goes underneath the legs of the refrigerator for replacement. So you get two of those as well. So make sure they put this somewhere safe in case you do need them again. So let's go put it on the truck. I'll have it hooked up just like this. It's gonna go right here and I can still have room open and closed. All right guys, tell me what do you guys think about this so far? I think, I think it looks pretty nice. Very nice and very simple. Opens up on the side. I had one before but it opened up towards the front on the inside so I always hit this part up here. So that's why I wanted something a little different that opens on the side and this is more than perfect. So I can still open it up towards the side. I can still access my drinks, my food, whatever. And then I should be able to put enough food in here for at least a week. So I don't think I'll be gone for more than a few days anyways, but, but I think this is more than ample enough room. And it's got the easy control touch button, real, real easy controls and everything. But I don't think that I wish was uh, the control was on this side, so I can control on this side instead of it being all the way over on the other opposite side. But that's no fault of a uh, company or anything. It's just how it's designed and how I place it in my truck. I could probably place it so it's going the long way, but I want it this way so I can still have enough room in front right here and and still be able to open from the side, which is very important to me for this uh, truck build. So. And this is what it looks like in my truck. The nice feet on the bottom, so I can actually put some thinner stuff down here, paper or whatever I need to. Then I got this part that opens up, so I can still access my storage here on my Tacoma, and I can put stuff down here as well. And I can still put stuff up here. This is where I usually put my, my tool kit and then whatever other gears that I need in here. And this is the other side, the other view. Got my power button right here. This is my power outlet or inlet. And let's go get the jackery and let's hook it up.
So this is how I have the jack right hooked up. The top is for input. This goes into the my truck's AC adapter up in front, which I'll show you in a bit. And then this is the plug for the refrigerator. It goes just like this, just like that. And we are set to go. You can probably hear the motor is now running. It is on. And we are in business. And guys, make sure you read the manual because when I first plugged it on, I thought it was broken, which it's not until I read the manual. I'm, I'm a type of guy that just put everything together and not read the manual. So but make sure you, when you turn it on, you hold it for three seconds. And then it turns on. And then you got your plus minus for your temperature. And then you have your settings. You can set it at whatever. And since it is the winter, winter time now, I like to set it at right around probably about 35. 35 or 37 degrees. It'll blink a little bit and then it'll turn you know, and then it'll go off. And right now I'll show you that right now it's at 48 degrees inside the inside the refrigerator right now. Otherwise it's very simple to use. The cool thing I like about this one too, it's also got an extra USB charger right here. So you could plug in your phone or whatever when you're on the beach. And this you can take on the beach if you want to. It's gonna be a little bulkier if you're gonna carry it around. Unless you have a cart, then you can throw it on a cart and then wheel it around. But yeah, this is, I, I like this a lot already. And let's take another look right here. Just like that. All right. Close is very simple. Opens very simple, very effortlessly. And it works really good. And this one, I could put more stuff up there on top of here if I need to. Otherwise, I got all this room right here. And this is for some of my recovery gear, emergency gear. So, but yeah, let's go take a look at the front. Sorry about the mess, guys. This is my second home and I'm on the road. So, anyways, right here is the check re adapter. Hooks up right there. I do have two. This is for my phone charger and whatever else. And this is also use the same port for my radio when I'm telling with lot groups. So I also use the Jackery Solar Saga 100, 100 watt, 18 volt output solar panels that I use for charging my Jackery during the hot summer days. Or when it's a very sunny day so I don't always rely on my truck and when I charge it I just open my back window put my solar charger on top of the roof and charge up the battery so I always have power no matter what I also want to install these little cleats right here so I can strap down the refrigerator in case I roll over or whatever, you won't bounce up and down. But keep it safely secured. I do the same thing for the other side. And now it's secured, it won't go anywhere. And they're easy to take off. All you do is just push this little button right here and it loosens up and you can take the strap off. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm just ready for all my other gear and I'm ready to go on trips. Well guys, hopefully you guys like this initial box opening and review of this change more refrigerator. I think it's gonna be a really great addition for my adventures. With, uh, the best points I like about this is that it opens from the side so I can still access from here thin. The first one, like I said, when you open it up, kind of hits up right here. So it's, so it makes it kind of trickier to get my stuff out. But this one can actually stay open like this. The other one I couldn't keep it open because it'll hit, it'll hit the top of my truck. So, and the buttons are very easy to use. I like the lock and unlock option on the controls so you can lock it when you have everything set. So if you actually uh, pump into the buttons, whatever, it doesn't change the setting or anything, which I really love. And this, again, this is a 12 volt system. So you can plug it into any public system batteries, your truck or your, uh, something like the Jackery, and it works really good. And I still got plenty of room right here. 
and it's uh, not not too loud. So, so if I were to sleep in the truck, it's not gonna wake me up throughout the whole night when it's running. So, but hopefully you guys like this uh, initial review and unboxing, and stay tuned for future updates on this refrigerator as I keep on using this. I think it's gonna be an awesome refrigerator at a fraction of the cost of some of the big name brands. I mean, if you're looking for a refrigerator, you are gonna pay anywhere between $800 to $1,000 for the name brand. And Change More is a really nice company too. They make really nice products and I really love it. So, but it'll be a test of time to see how it'll last me on my adventures and well, I'll keep you guys updated. And furthermore, please like this video, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel. And also I'm still doing the giveaway for the Tideway, um, Tideway waiters. I may see about four, I think we're off three, four videos ago. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'm gonna do the drawing live on YouTube. And I'm gonna see if I can do a live on TikTok as well because I'm doing the same giveaway on TikTok. So there's two chances to win Tideway waiters. And they're really nice PVC waiters. But yeah, make sure you guys go check out that video. And see you on the next adventure. So stay tuned for more updates. All right, let's go. I guess I hope I hope cut well guys hopefully you guys like this initial issue, an issue. <laughs>